What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to build a swamp trap to catch free bees. Because if you buy a package of bees, it's $115, that's average price, could be more or less, it depends where you live. Well, with this little trick you can catch your own free bees in the springtime most of the time. Around where I live, March and especially April, that's where you most can catch bees. Maybe a little bit in the summertime, but most in the springtime, that's the only time when it's heavy, heavy swarming. That's where you want to set up the swarm traps and hopefully you can catch some free bees. I've seen people catch swarms up to 30 a year. 30 swarms, that's like over $3,000 for free. So hopefully we can catch swarms. I'm going to show you in the future videos how to set them up, how to lure them, abate them so the bees actually will like your swarm trap and actually will settle in there but for today we're just going to show you how to build it seven dollars each and out of one of this plywood that's about 24 dollars you can build seven swamp traps so really really cheap but you will need a whole bunch of tools with that i'll put links in description where i got all the measurements so that way i don't have to tell you exact measurements as you can see we setting everything up to be cut also, I don't have a table saw. What we use is one of those hand saw, but it's really hard to use it to cut a long straight line, especially on a plywood. So I'm going to put to the test a little gadget like this. It's pretty much a circular saw. Is that what it's called, Bob? Yes. Circular saw guide. So that way we will be able to cut a straight line. It comes with all these little attachments. I'm about to set it all up. Wow, look at that straight line. It works. Yep. Nice. So as you can see, I can slide it. And this side here is like a guide. And then I'm going to push it back a little bit. Line it up. And then once I'm happy, I'll lock it in. Let me see if it's consistent. Yep, I'm happy. And now we're just going to cut it. Then we're going to put it all together. I love using those clamps so that way you can actually nail everything in very, very easily. And boom, now we're going to put the sides in like this. And now I'm just going to put nails all the way around and same thing on the other side. And basically we got a box like this. And now when we get our frames, we want to make sure they fit. Boom. And you see how they fit perfectly. And right here, it's leveled for the cover. One, two, three four and it fits up to five frames as you can see and why do we do this as you can see if i line it up the frame like this you see 
there is plenty of empty space. The swarm of bees actually like to see some of the empty space. The research have been done that the bees like to have some empty space, not just frames. So that way they come check it out. Oh, this is a good spot to settle in. So they come and come back with the whole swarm. But yeah, that's beautiful. Now we're just going to build the cover and that's it. The cover is gonna go like this and boom, it's done. We can also finish it up by building the cover to these both sides like this, boom. And that way it will cover it up. And you can put the smaller sticks on this side. So that way you can put and cover it up. But wow, that turned out well. That tool actually works really good. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, one more thing. And the last thing we're going to do is actually, before we're going to put frames in, is actually nail these sides in. So that's like a handle. But at the same time, it covers up this side here. So a couple of nails. Once you build one, it's actually going to be a lot easier. One is here and one on the other side. So this is what you want. And then you can drill in an entrance like that. And of course put some kind of wire inside there so the mice cannot get inside of it. Boom. And that's what it's going to look like. If you're really good at working with wood, you can really make it look like this. Just perfect smooth edges. Put some glue in here. It's awesome. Optional, you can put ventilation out here. I would say definitely put some ventilation in here, especially if you live in a hot climate. Also, I love this metal part in here. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's pretty easy to build bee swarm traps and it's very worth it because each one costs about seven bucks. Very cheap to do, but they will last you forever for many, many years. And every time you catch a swarm of bees, it's like hundred dollars, hundred and fifteen dollars. And who knows, maybe we'll catch some this year. March and April in my area, like I already said, big times to catch bee swarms so in about a week i'll show you how to set up all the swarm traps all right guys that's pretty much it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time remember in the last video i have checked on this really small beehive really small cluster and they started laying eggs but it was such a small cluster a week ago i didn't think they were going to make it but nevertheless i give them pollen party just to boost them up they had plenty of stores of honey so what i'm gonna do is inspect it see how they're doing i do not see any bees flying in and out as i expected they weren't gonna make it they might haven't but anyways let's check it out and see how they're doing you never know till you open it up since last inspection the weather been really nice like in the 70s 60s i see some bees in there a couple of bees so let me open this up yep as you can see it's all empty they barely touch this pollen party looks like i will just have to take it away even this beehive did yeah, make it so looks like i lost all of my beehives look how much honey they have left plenty of stores so they definitely didn't die from starvation what i do need to check for is american fab boot you see there's a bunch of larvae in there but i guess the bees didn't survive they definitely had plenty of honey i don't know what happened so what i have to do is Stick it right here and mush up one of the larvae and you see when it comes out together it's okay. And what I'm gonna do is push into one of these and break it apart and you see it's not gooey. If you have this whole little slimy thing sticking out that's you have a problem. American fall boot is very very problematic. If you're going to have one beehive with the American fall boot and gonna be very weak other bees is going to try to get into it and steal and rub all the honey out and they all going to get american fab boot but as you can see i do not see it it is very very serious diseases some beekeepers even burn their beehives if they find american fab boot 
Honestly, I don't see it gooey. So when I break it up in there, in a cell, when I pull it out, you see it comes off all together. It's not like a slime that is a, like a long little slime stick when you pull it out. Maybe one day I'll show it to you what it looks like. But I don't think this is what it is. I don't see any American pulp boat in here. So you break it up and it's supposed to be very, very slimy. But you see it just comes off together. And it's usually that black, black slime. This is what I'm gonna do to all my beehives. The ones that have comb, you see it's sealed up. So that way no bugs can get in inside there. It's okay, at the end of the March we're getting more beehives. About 11 beehives, some of them Italian bees and some of them English bees. We'll see how we do. Also, I'm going to get ready and start setting up all the swarm traps. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.